Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about use interval notation. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. So what is interval notation and why is it useful? Well, a lot of times when we're given a variable, it usually can say the variable can be any number and we need to find that number. But sometimes we get to a point where a variable can represent a range of numbers. Okay, so like if you remember, let's say the number line, right? So if you had a little number line here and just kind of went on, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, and we want to say, let's say this number, whatever it is, is from 1 and it can be greater than, right? So numbers that this value x, let's say this number line represents x, x can be 1 and any number that's greater than 1. So a lot of times we would see that as this x such that x is greater than or equal to 1. So what they're saying is x is a set of real numbers such that x is greater than or equal to 1. Okay. So we have a large amount of different ways that we can write different variables in what we call set builder notation and interval notation. Okay. Um, this one, oh, this uh, is an interval notation we would see this as 1 to infinity, saying that x can equal 1, okay, but then it can go to infinity, okay. So I'm going to go read through a whole bunch of these here, and you can see them how they're going to look, okay, I'll point out a few things. So the first one here says all real numbers between a and b, but not including a or b, looks like that, right, x such that a is le less than x, which is less than b. And then they have the parentheses there on both sides of the A and B for interval notation. The other set indicated is all real numbers greater than A, but not including A. Okay, so we can see there X such that X is greater than A. Okay, and then you have A and infinity there with parentheses around them. Keep going down. All real numbers less than B, but not including B. Okay, X such that X is less than B. And we have the parentheses negative infinity comma B. Right, and then parentheses again. And a quick note, whenever you have infinity, you have to have parentheses, because you can't actually equal infinity. That's what the bracket is really showing. So it's, it doesn't equal, right? It doesn't equal negative infinity or positive infinity. So you have to put parentheses there. So here, all real numbers greater than A, including A, very similar to before, uh, but it's greater than or equal to, and you have a bracket over the A there. All real numbers less than B, including B, well, again, same idea there, but you have negative infinity with the parentheses and the bracket on the B. All real numbers between A and B, including A, okay, <laughs> they're going through all the examples here, but you have X such that A is less than or equal to X, which is less than B, and you have a bracket on the A there, but a parentheses on the B. All real numbers between A and B, including B, same idea, kind of flipped around, X such that A is less than X, which is less than or equal to B, and parentheses A comma B with a bracket for B. All real numbers between A and B, including A and B. Here, so we have X such that A is less than or equal to X, or A is less than or equal to X, which is less than or equal to B. And so there you have a bracket for the A and the B. Okay, and this is where I think people have the most, uh, or struggle the most with. All real numbers less than A or greater than B. X such that X is less than A or X is greater than B. And then here we have something a little different. Negative infinity to A in parentheses, and then you again, B to a positive infinity, okay, with parentheses. And lastly, all real numbers, X such that X is all real numbers, meaning it can mean any number out there. There's no limit really on there. And that's from negative infinity to positive infinity, again, with parentheses. You need the parentheses there, okay? So let's go with our first example here, number one, okay? And they tell us using interval notation to express all real numbers greater than or equal to a, use interval notation to indicate all real numbers greater than or equal to negative 2. Okay, so we're going to use interval notation here. So we're looking greater than or equal to negative 2. Well, to write that, what do we need to do? Okay, well, we can do that here as, oops, <laughs> got ahead of myself here, no e there, but we're going to bracket, right? It says greater than or equal to. So we have negative 2 here, we're going to put a bracket, okay, and then what we're going to have here is, since it can be any number past that, we want positive 
infinity. And that's it. Fairly simple, not too bad. Okay, not too bad there. All right, let's go try another one here. It says, example two. Using interval notation to express all real numbers less than or e uh, equal to A or greater than or equal to B. Okay. Write the interval expressing all real numbers less than or equal to negative 1 or greater than or equal to 1. So we're looking from negative 1 or greater than or equal to positive 1. Okay. Well, we want to start off here. Okay. We have the negative 1. Right. And we want to bracket there because we said it can equal negative 1. And then he said it's all real is all real numbers less than or equal to negative 1. So we have a negative infinity represents all the real numbers down there that can lead up to negative 1, less than or equal to negative 1, and that equal 2 makes it a bracket. But then they give us the second thing it can also be. So that's where they put a union. And then they say here, uh, or greater than or equal to 1, so we can equal positive 1, and it can be greater than that showing the positive infinity, and we put a parenthesis there. And now we have our interval notation here. So I hope you learned something about interval notation. If you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com.